welcome back to the clover tech channel folks and yes as you can see today we're going to be working on the rounding buck marks again i'm going to be installing the volkortsen uh, extractor picture here so that you've got the part number Before we get started, um, some of you that are regular to the channel may notice that there's a little bit of difference in these buck marks uh, compared to what we have seen before. Uh, let's go ahead and start by rubbing the mags. We won't need these and clearing everything. clear notice we have slide rackers now and these are courtesy of a gentleman named Bill Striplin um, out of Arkansas website is striplincustom.com I will put that in the notes in the comments uh, he actually machines several upgrades for the brinings uh, including these um, slide rackers. He does make one that is uh, serrated on the edge, a couple different styles. Uh, you have to send the slide in to him, but a couple of these in the priority mailboxes, not a huge deal. Okay, so we've made sure that the firearms are clear uh, on this buck mark. I've actually already replaced the extractor, lock the slide back, and Get up close here you can see here's your extractor and you have a plunger and a spring here that's what holds this extractor in place okay uh, as far as the look this one still has the original not a whole lot of difference in between the uh, look of the original and the full course and it's got a little sharper edge uh, so it's able to actually grab in under the cartridge head and extract it a little easier now <clears throat> with the firearm unloaded and the magazine out these are pretty easily replaceable um, without having to do anything else you've got to make sure not to trip the slide release when you're doing this you could you could slam a slide on your finger but it's not a altogether hard project. So let's go ahead and open the quartz and extractor. My apologies for the box being beat up. Uh, when I ordered these, they were actually shipped in a box with several other things, including a 25 pound bag of number eight shot which obviously crushed the packaging but here's what the extractor looks like and essentially what happens is you're going to slide it in there and you've got your detent it's going to hang right here uh, this side's facing inward your detent's going to hang right here that keeps it from jumping out obviously and then uh, the spring behind it which puts pressure on that detent so that's how it all works Okay, so what we're going to need for this is a pair of hemostats or tweezers and a flathead precision screwdriver. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to push this plunger back, okay, using the flat part of the blade. It should go into here as you're pushing back. Once you do that, that should allow this extractor to come loose, okay and you could probably get by without the tweezers or hemostats it just makes it a little easier now 
Okay, something to notice, the new one is in, it's not popping out. On this plunger there is a flat spot, okay? And it rotated while I was pushing it back. So what you'll want to do is rotate that plunger back around so that the sp flat spot covers this flat spot, which would be right here on the extractor, okay? And we're done. That is all it takes. It's that simple. And you now have a much more reliable extractor. So I want to thank you again for joining us here on the CloverTac channel. Uh, once again, uh, for the slide rackers, I want to give a shout out to Bill Striplin. Uh, that's striplincustom.com. Be sure to check them out as well. Uh, we invite you to like our Facebook page, uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos and hopefully soon to come giveaways through the Facebook page. Until next time, stay safe guys and we'll see you then.